Hi, this is Jody Friedman from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install actions in Photoshop. The first step to installing an action is to make sure that if it came in a zip file that you've unzipped it and you put it on your desktop. Once you have it on your desktop, you can go ahead and create a folder called actions and put all of your actions in there. That way you don't lose track of them and your desktop doesn't become too cluttered. The next thing you're going to want to do is load the actions into Photoshop. Do not double click. Sometimes, depending on how your Photoshop is set up, it will work when you double click and you'll then start emailing me and asking why your actions disappear all the time. We're going to load them, not double click them into Photoshop. So go ahead and the files that you're looking for are the ones labeled .atn. So those are the files that are actual action files. Go ahead and put those in the folder and then we're going to install them into Photoshop. You need to make sure your actions palette is open. The steps I'm showing you will work in all versions. I'm in CS4 right now. They work in all versions of full Photoshop. That would be Photoshop 7, CS, CS2, CS3, CS4, and also earlier versions as well, um, not elements. Okay, we're gonna go over to Window, and now we're gonna drop down to the word Actions and make sure it's checked off. Once it checks off, a box will pop up, and that is your Actions palette. And you can see my Actions palette is already open. And the next step is to actually load these into Photoshop. You'll see I have a bunch loaded, but I'm gonna show you how to load actions here. We're gonna come into this box. You'll see at the top right corner, there's three little lines. And when we click on that, you're gonna get a drop down menu. And we're gonna go in this menu, and we're gonna go about halfway down if you're in Photoshop CS3 or 4. In some earlier versions, I believe it's more towards the top or bottom. And you're gonna actually click on load actions. And that's going to bring up a folder set and you're gonna to need to navigate your way to where you save them. So if they are on your desktop, you're gonna use the little folder with the up one level and keep navigating till your desktop and then find your actions folder. Once you're in your actions folder, you'll see the list of the actions that you have in it. At that point, you're going to click on the action and you're going to click the word load. And when you do that, it will appear in your actions palette. And that's all there is to it. Now that you have your action installed, you'll see whichever action you installed will be showing up right here in your actions palette. Today I'm going to show you a couple of my free ones and the first one I'm going to show you is the Take Action on Cancer Awareness. To demonstrate this action, I've got a photo of a really pretty girl, senior, up on my screen and you will notice when you look at this picture, um, it's already actually a color edit and we're going to go ahead and turn it black and white with the Take Action on Cancer Awareness. First question I often get asked with actions is why can't my action play? I'm getting a little circle with a line through it when I hit on the play button. The play button just looks like a tape recorder button uh, or a CD button. It's an arrow that points sideways. And if you click it and you get that circle with a line through it, it's because you have your set, you're on your set and you're not on the actual action. What you need to do is hit this arrow that's to the left of the little folder and then you'll see your actions listed. And my free actions don't have a whole list of them like my paid actions do. But you will see right here, we've got the take action on cancer awareness. You can also actually read the copyright information by clicking play, and it'll take you through the copyright information. But we're gonna go ahead today, we're gonna actually run the action. So we're gonna go ahead and click play once we have the action highlighted. And when we click play, it's gonna give you some pop-up messages. And you'll wanna go ahead and read those, but I'm not going to today. I'm just gonna quickly work through the action and I'll let you do the reading when you run it yourself. And when it runs, it's gonna actually put a bunch of layers in the layers palette, which I'm going to open up in a moment once it's done running. And it says now that I am done running the action. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and I'm gonna open up my layers palette. And normally I have it open by default, but when I'm actually showing on the screen, I like to keep things uncluttered as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and this has many layers. And you'll notice it's got a background layer, the clear ribbon defog to fight lung cancer. So that's going to actually be a defog that makes your photo look a little bit more three-dimensional. Also, we have an add contrast. So if your photo gets too contrasty, you'll wanna go ahead and turn that off. You're welcome to also change the opacity. So you can add opacity or take some away, depending on the look that you're going for. Then we have these overlays and you're welcome to use them or not, it's up to you. If we go ahead and put, for example, a pink overlay, you'll see how the colors change a bit. There's a brown overlay, or actually it's gray, kind of a gray color. 
um, there's a red, and you can see we can create quite different looks depending what we turn on. Once you've turned one on, if you select that layer, you can change the opacity so you can make it more subtle or more significant. That's how you use the Take Action on Cancer Awareness action. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more action as well. What I'm going to show you is the free Touch of Light, Touch of Darkness. This is an action I use on pretty much almost every photo to add light just where I want it and to add darkness just where I want it. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up the set by clicking on this arrow to the left of the folder and then highlight the word Touch of Light, Touch of Darkness. Then you're gonna go ahead and click the play button and it's going to run two layers for you. You'll want to make sure your opacity of your brush in the top toolbar is set at about 30%. And then we're going to go ahead and you're going to want your flow at 100%. And then we're going to go ahead and paint on the picture. You want to use your brush tool, which is the letter B. It's right here also. Um, you're going to, right here, you're going to click your brush and make sure you have white as your foreground color. And when you paint with white, it's going to actually paint the light or darkness on. So to make your brush bigger or smaller, you can use your bracket keys and you do want to use a soft airbrush. So we're going to go ahead, I'll show you what that is in the uh, brush palette. It's an airbrush soft round and you can keep the hardness at zero to start out with. If you see a halo, you're going to want to bring it to about 40 or 50 percent. I always start with it at zero and then if I have a problem with getting a halo around the edges, then I will move it up in hardness a bit. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to go ahead and click on the face, and you'll see how I've lightened up the face a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to Touch of Darkness, and I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger now using the right bracket key. And I'm going to go ahead and make the background a little bit darker. So I'm going to come in here and paint, and you'll see that the background is getting darker. And it's making the emphasis go more onto Jenna, and it takes a minute to catch up here. And now I'm going to go ahead and paint a little bit more. And each time I paint, it's adding a little bit more. It's kind of layering, if you will, the effect because I've got the opacity at 30%. So now if I go ahead and turn these two layers off, you'll see there was our before and there's our after with the emphasis more on my daughter. Hopefully that tutorial has been very helpful to you and the free actions will be as well. Go ahead and check out my site at mcpactions.com for more great tips and tutorials and also my blog. Thank you very much.